In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, everyone. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries on the fourth Sunday of Lent, we do so with hearts that are still moved by God's mercy and compassion. We admit our sins, and we trust that God will bring us his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, in my fault, in my fault, in my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, your Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself in a wonderful way, Grant that with prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. book of Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel, Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, where I have chosen my king from among his sons. As Jesse and his sons came to the sacrifice, Samuel looked at Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. Not as man sees does God see, because man sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel, but Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any one of these. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest who is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. He will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives here. Jesse sent and had the young man brought to him. He was ruddy, a youth handsome to behold, and making a splendid appearance. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed David in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. 
You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. May goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for light produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless works of darkness. Rather, expose them, for it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. He spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva, and smeared the clay on his eyes and said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. So he went and washed, and came back able to see. His neighbors and those who had seen him earlier as a beggar said, Isn't this the one who used to sit and beg? Some said, It is. But others said, no, he just looks like him. He said, I am. They brought the one who was once blind to the Pharisees. Now Jesus had made clay and opened his eyes on the Sabbath. So the Pharisees also asked him how he was able to see. He said to them, he put clay on my eyes, and I washed, and now I can see. So some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, because he said not keep the Sabbath. But others said, How can a sinful man do such signs? And there was a division among them. So they said to the blind man again, What do you have to say about him, since he opened your eyes? He said, He is a prophet. They answered and said to him, You were born totally in sin, and you are trying to teach us. Then they threw him out. When Jesus heard that he had thrown him out, he found him and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? They answered and said, 
Who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, You have seen him. The one speaking with you is he. And he said, I do believe for him. And he worshipped him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our entrance antiphon today for the fourth Sunday of Lent is Rejoice at Jerusalem and all who love her, and be joyful and exult. Those words might be a little difficult for us to say with such enthusiasm as we are welcomed to this new reality. But of course the good thing is we're back together again and we're praying. Yes, there's a little distance between us for now, but together we are gathered around the table of the Lord. And so it is an opportunity for us to rejoice. When I first thought that we'd be broadcasting in Mass, I thought, don't preach. It'll be short men in the church. But then I don't want you to feel cheated. And so a brief word for today, as we go into this fourth week of Lent, still with hearts that are called to rejoice and be joyful. My brother and sister, just like David, you and I have been anointed. Through sacrament of baptism and confirmation, the reception of the Holy Eucharist, we have been called, we have been gathered, and of course, as the name Silwan means, we've been sent. And perhaps in a special way, these days, when so many of us are confined to our homes, and life as we know it is simply put on hold, we're still called to live as people who are anointed. People who are sent to others, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, through the internet perhaps, and we're called in a special way to bring healing at this time. We're also told in our second reading to live as children of the light. Darkness would have us believe there's no hope here. Darkness would have us throw our hands up and say, see, I told you. And then as children of the light, we are called to live as people of the message of the gospel. And it's always good news. Even when the circumstances of our own life are messy, are fearful, we might have doubts, we're still called to be men and women, children of hope, children who live in the light. My brother and my sisters in the gospel today, of course, Jesus asked the man who had been cured of his blindness, do you believe in the Son of Man? And his response, as we heard, was simply, I do believe. And he worshiped him. Today, the Lord asks us once again, do you believe in the Son of Man? And as we respond similarly, I do believe. That's the reason for our gathering today. That's the reason for our worship. So let's go for it. Renewed in the light of Christ. Renewed in our anointing and our sending. And let us proclaim to others through our actions, our words, our thoughts, and our emails and the internet. I do believe. Together, let us profess the faith which makes us one. I believe in one God, the Father of Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. Consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As the Father sent his Son to heal and redeem us, we now ask him to hear and answer these prayers that we may be comforted in any affliction. For the Church, for our Holy Father, for all bishops and all those who lead us in faith, may God help us remain faithful to all his commandments and grow in the fullness of the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, May the Lord grant them the fortitude to remain true to his justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer in mind, body, or spirit, especially at this difficult time, may the healing power of Jesus come upon them and bring them comfort and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all first responders, for all medical personnel, and for all those who reach out to bring healing and hope to those who have become ill, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's blessing on all the members of our parish family, especially those who join us today at this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, we pray for their families, for all those who mourn the loss of a loved one, that the mercy of God may rest upon them and bring them peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a swift solution and for cooperation in this difficult time of the coronavirus, that God might give us strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer and for the parishioners of our parish, for whom this Mass is especially offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we know that you are the giver of all good things. Hear and answer these prayers that we bring to you today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work with human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work with human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. May the glory be the name for our good and the good of all for the church. We place before you with joy these offerings which bring us eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By the mystery of the Incarnation, he has led the human race that walked in darkness into the radiance of the faith and has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin through the waters of regeneration to make them your adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in admiration, and we with all a host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in you, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, forever the light of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who enlighten everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty, and love you in all sincerity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please keep checking the parish website as well as our flock notes on the forum to find out other things that are going on uh, to help us in our spiritual life as we continue to journey together at a very difficult time. So the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Please bow your heads and let us pray for God's blessing. Look upon those who call to you, O Lord, and sustain those who are weak. Give life by your unfailing light to those who walk in the shadow of death and bring those rescued by your mercy from every evil to reach the highest good through Christ our Lord.
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Stay well. Stay safe.